Hey viewers, tonight I'm going to talk about and show you how to install a problem solver's travel agent. Um, what a travel agent is used for is to increase cable pull. So it allows you to use brake levers uh, that are designed for like short pull type brakes. Uh, such as like uh, road brakes or cantilever brakes and allows you to use those short pull levers with long pull brakes like uh, V-brakes or disc brakes which require about twice as much cable pull to operate. And so what this does is this increases the cable pull by using uh, two sizes of pulleys. So the cable kind of comes down in through here around this little pulley up through the slot and then around the big pulley. So the cable pulls around this little pulley and so it pulls just a little bit of cable and which then goes around here around the big pulley and pulls nearly twice as much cable from around here around the big pulley. Um, this could also be just used as a simple little pulley uh, like if the cable comes in through here it just goes around here and then doesn't increase at all but allows it uh, like smoother operation around a tight bend uh, than say a noodle would. And like on uh, V-brakes this basically replaces the noodle. So what I'm going to be doing is installing this on my mountain bike uh, where I have V-brakes and the brake lever is designed for cantilever brakes. Okay so here's the bike I was working on. I installed V-brakes on here but the brake lever is designed for cantilever brakes. So this is a short pull lever and these are long pull brakes. So like as I go ahead and pull the brake lever, it actually kind of engages the rim right there. But I can pull this and it'll, it'll go back all the way to the lever like that. It's just because this can't quite pull as much cable as these brakes want. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this noodle here with the problem solver's travel agent. Okay, so I removed the old brake cable and installed a brand new cable into the same cable housing. You're going to need a brand new cable because the old cable is just not going to be long enough. Uh, and so I have the travel agent here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the cable down through the inside hole here. So just take, find the end of the cable, slide it down through this hole here, and pull it all the way through like this. And so you want to make sure that the cable housing is fully seated into the travel agent and also into the brake lever itself. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this wheel. I want this little hole here, this little slot here, pointing not quite exactly up, but around to the one o'clock position. You definitely don't want to have it too low here so that uh, when the cable gets pulled, all of a sudden it's going to uh, bottom out of here. You don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, with the cable pulled tight up into the housing, I'm going to wrap this around the small pulley here, and then slide this cable up through that hole there. And pull it all the way through. Now you want to kind of test it, make sure pull that cable and make sure that when the cable is pulled tight it's going to be pointed up in about that uh, one o'clock position. Now I can kind of bend this cable over a little bit there and so now what I want to do is I want to slide the cable through, kind of hold that wheel so it doesn't turn and take the cable, slide it through over the top of the pulley and out through the back and then pull this all the way through here. Like that. Again, pull the cable, make sure that that little hole there stays in the right position. And it's looking good. So now what I'm going to do is go to the bottom of the pulley and I'm going to uh, take the uh, cable and slide it through the bottom here. And out through the hole. Oh out through the hole here, like this. And so now I have this all uh, routed through the, the travel agent there, and I'm going to install the travel agent basically where the noodle would go, so it, it sits right there like that. So I can kind of pull the, the uh, cable tight there, and so notice the position of where the cable is, that hole there. 
So now, I can slide the cable out through the cable clamp on the V-brake here. I'm going to tentatively adjust this here and see how it feels. Like that. And actually I think I maybe want it just a hair tighter. Just a little bit right there. See how that feels. And that feels pretty good, though I think I might want to tighten a little bit more, but I can do that at the barrel adjuster at the brake lever. So I'm going to tighten this down. Cut the cable. Put a crimp end on. And then tuck this back behind the uh, brake like that. And that works pretty good. And so I can pull this, and it goes back a little bit farther than I want, but what I can do is I can fine-tune it using the barrel adjuster on the brake lever, so I can turn that out. And since this kind of doubles the cable pull, uh, a little bit of adjustment here is doubled down here. So I can t test that, turn this out a little bit, and get it to where I want it to be, and then tighten down this little lock uh, here. So that stays right there. And that works pretty well. So anyway, that is how to install a Problem Solvers Travel Agent on V-Brakes like this. Hope you found that useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. It helps me out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button and you'll see new videos as they come out. And I'm always coming out with new videos. And I'm also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page, and I post a lot of stuff over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.